Okay, uh, third sample then is coming from batch 5548, um, designated bad static. Uh, what we'll do this time is prepare the sample. We'll remove the sample holder from the instrument. And retrieve the previous one. Taking care not to mix them up. We uh, pick a bag from the batch. You can already tell this. Um, <clears throat> There's quite a bit of static in here, but we'll carry on. We prepare the sample, cut into size. There's no real science in this. It's going to be roughly six by four. Um, The last sample going up there. Let's cut this roughly in half. And we load the sample between the two earthen bars and we place the top of the sample holder like that. And load the whole lot back into the instrument. Set the EHT voltage back up to 1 kV, 50% trigger point and negative EHT again in a period of one second. So uh, we'll start it there. That's interesting, after uh, an initial discharge period it's flattened out. So what might have happened there is that the sample already had a significant charge level on it already of the opposite polarity to the, that that we've applied. But now it's flatlined. And if anything, it's actually increasing as time is going, as by this accumulating charge. So this sample has clearly got no antistatic additive in it at all. And it's just going from bad to worse. It's gradually increasing in charge without any other EHT potential being applied to it. It's attracting charge all the time. <laughs>